Let me show you how to install the virtual I.O. server, or VIOS. I'll assume you have first set up a serial console using the cabling and applications you're used to and placed the first VIOS disk in the DVD-ROM tray. Log into the Advanced System Management Interface, or ASMI, web interface as admin in a browser. Expand power slash restart control in the navigation frame. Click power on slash off system. Change the AIX slash Linux partition mode boot setting to boot to SMS menu. Click save settings and power on. ASMI shows that the system is powered on and displays power on related settings. Expand system information. Click real time progress indicator. The progress indicator appears as a new browser window. It mirrors the system's physical control panel display. Note the changing status codes. Switch window focus to the console. Select option 2 to continue to password entry. Enter the ASMI P admin password and press enter. Select option 5 to select boot options. Select option 1 to select install slash boot device. Select option 7 to list all devices. Select the CD-ROM device. Select option 2 for normal mode boot. Select option 1 to exit SMS. The VIOS installer boots. Define the system console by selecting the recommended number and pressing enter. Select the installation language and press enter. Select option 2 to change slash show installation settings and install. Select option 0 to install with the settings listed above. Go back to ASMI in the browser window. Click power on slash off system. Change the AIX slash Linux partition mode boot setting to continue to operating system. Click Save Settings. Go to the console window. After a while, you are prompted to change the VIOS installation disks. Insert the second disk and press Enter. VIOS continues to install. Then, VIOS reboots the system. Simply let the system reboot. VIOS starts. Wait for a login prompt. Log in to the VIOS server as pAdmin. Enter a new password for the pAdmin account. Accept the software maintenance terms and conditions by selecting A and pressing Enter. 
Accept the license by entering license space dash accept and pressing enter. Configure networking with the config assist command. Use the arrow keys to navigate the cursor and press enter to select an option. Select the VIOS TCP IP configuration option. Select the EN0 network interface. Fill in all of the entry fields. Short host name, internet address, network mask, default gateway, name server internet address, and name server domain name. Press Enter to make the changes. Verify that the changes were made. Press the Escape key followed by the Zero key to exit the Config Assist menu dialog. Congratulations! You have successfully installed and configured VIOS. Now it's time to configure some virtualization settings in the Integrated Virtualization Manager, or IVM. Go to the VIOS IP address in a browser using the HTTPS protocol in the URL. Log into IVM as PAdmin. Click View slash Modify Partitions. Note that the VIOS or Management Partition is already listed. Click View slash Modify Virtual Ethernet. Click Initialize Virtual Ethernet. Click Apply. Virtual Ethernet is initialized. Note the confirmation at the top of the window. Some installations require networking outside the virtual network you initialized. Establishing such an external connection is called bridging. To create a virtual Ethernet bridge, click on the Virtual Ethernet Bridge tab. Select the physical adapter to bridge. Click Apply. The bridge is established. Note the confirmation at the top of the window. Visit these links for an installation flowchart and more details about configuration options.